I'm cooking ugali. Nimeanzia video katikati by the way. The water is already boiling. I put the flour in. So let's pick up from there, guys. Hey, ugali is the easiest thing I've ever been able to learn how to cook. I think I learned how to cook ugali when I was 10 years old. Yeah, I was in class 5 when I first cooked my ugali, my family uh, ugali. Because my dad used to teach us how to cook these things. My big sister used to teach us how to cook this thing. Um, and I learned how to prepare the ugali, which is the main meal in Kenya, at a very tender age. So, easy, I just do it like a hobby. Like just simple, simple, simple way of cooking. I normally boil water and then put in flour or add flour and then stir up bit by bit as I'm adding more flour as needed. And then ugali is not something that you can cook when you're stopping. So that's why I'm mixing hard and also speaking to you guys. Yeah, the outfit looks like the one I did my video with yesterday because I've just done the video and I'm cooking ugali now. Yeah, so I'm going to be quick on that and finish up. The best thing is you have to regulate the heat. For ugali, you can't use uh, you can't cook ugali properly with a uh, high high heat. You have to put a low heat and then keep on stirring, keep on turning. Uh, it's quite different, like from the Ghana, what they call fufu, and uh, what they call padded yam in Nigeria. Uh, they cook it differently because they don't use the maize flour, but they use the yam flour or cassava flour so it's the cassava and yam flour is quite soft so they don't have to put it over the heat all the time they boil water and then use a bowl stir up it and then put it even in the um, oven to finish up the cooking but with this meal you have to put it under heat my friend like continuously so that's the difference between ugali fufu and padded yam of nigeria yeah, I've done this. I've learned all this because I've met all my friends here are from all these countries. So I'm learning every day different type of meals from different cultures. And I think Nigerians, the Sierra Leone are quite close to each other. So they have the fufu, they have the palladium, and they cook it differently. They don't cook it like the maize meal. Uh, the flour I have, guys, is fried is what we call the ibiza here it's not like the flour back home so i had to go in the shops you get that in the off license shops you get that in the supermarkets and you can easily relate to what we basically have back home huh? i think also the zambians and zimbabweans cook this i i'm forgetting what they call it but they cook it as well but they have a different name and how they cook it is quite also different but the end result is a white mashed up meal <laughs> which you eat with um fried veggies meat stew or chicken yeah my heat is quite low it's about four and i think that flour will be enough now so guys yes welcome to my kitchen regina kitchen Nowadays, you're all over in my kitchen. You know, this is our common meeting place, I think. We were here yesterday, we cooked, the other day we cooked chicken. <laughs> we then cooked um, mokimo, the mashed potatoes, and today we're cooking ugali. <laughs> so yeah, I love cooking nowadays, I think. Because that's the only hope, that's the only thing you can do here, guys. There's no place you can go, like, in the garden, do something. There's nothing. And you cannot go to the market every day. Huh? You cannot go to the market every other day. So the only activity you have to keep yourself busy with is cooking. Learning how to cook and stuff. Hey, Bazelio, it's so hot, guys. You might, you want to know how many degrees or how, how, how high the, the temperatures are today here. 20 something? I'm feeling literally like I'm in Mombasa, back home. Yeah, I 
I feel like I'm in, in a very hot country, the Caribbean. Huh? I feel like I'm in Guyana, Trinidad, or Jamaica, somewhere. Yeah? And yet I'm in the UK. I mean, this place is where they say it's the coldest, the snowy places. I haven't seen none of that. I haven't seen none of that. Just feeling hot today. Yeah? This summer is just, it's been something else. But one day it's very cold, literally raining, showers everywhere. And then the next day, it's hot. Look at how it is, guys. Look through the window. It's quite hot. Very warm outside there. Let's see how our ugali is doing. This is what we call the ugali. Yeah? Or what Ghana's call fufu. Nigeria's call it paradiam or something. Yeah? Or they call it swallow. They call it swallow. Yeah, they call it swallow. But ours is the, pa, the ugali. I said you cannot leave it for long without stirring it. So you have to keep on stirring. And you have to have some strong ham hams. Eh? In Chezo, it's not a play. It's not a play. Anyway, guys, thank you for keeping it here. Thank you so much. I hope you have watched uh, yesterday's video where we did um, cook mashed potatoes. We also cooked chicken the other day. And today we are cooking our ugalai. Hmm? We are cooking our ugalai. Africa Ugalai. That's how we call it here now. I should start calling it Ugalai. And like they will not understand what Ugali is. Just tell them a maize, maize, maize something, maize meal. Or just tell them it's like fufu. Tell them it's like paradigm, but use maize flour. Call so it maize flour or maize flour? Is it maize flour or maize flour? Oh my goodness. I don't know. But it's maize flour. Me, I'll call it flour, not flour. The heat is quite low, so I tend to cook it over some time because, oh my god, I was taught how to cook ugali as I think earlier on by my dad. You would never cook ugali like two, three minutes and take it off the fire. You got to leave it there to cook properly. Otherwise, I'm the Kurugisha no ugali. It would take you back to the kitchen and cook again. What? It would take you back to the kitchen and cook it again because it tastes not ready for him he has to give you that smell of hmm? that smell of ugali you know what i mean as you know yeah? you get to have that stuff smelly pink nice smell roasting thing and then that is when you know that ugali is ready or this meal is ready but it's quite easy to cook and then this you can also use it you can eat with the uh, meat stew we can eat with chicken with some greens you can eat with tea if you want to. Yeah. What we call kiporo or breakfast with ugali. Yeah, you can still you can just have it with anything. Literally you can have ugali with anything. And I think the Ghanaians or the the Ghanaians mostly call it swalo, but they use don't use the flour, maize flour, they use padedia or cassava flour. I think that is what they call it. And then they prepare it so differently. And the Ghanaians, as I said, the, the Nigerians will call it fufu or padediam. No, padediam. I think so. So, but we are one, all of us. We are just from one region. So, at the end of the day, if we are cooking our good, strong meal, because we believe that ugali or those heavy meals, we want to feel like you've eaten a meal. This is the meal to cook. Otherwise, Cooking rice for dinner, cooking uh, soft diet, soft meal for dinner uh -uh, is not for our African homes. It's not for our African homes. It's just for you to cook a heavy meal for the family so that at the end of the day, we all feel like we've eaten a good meal to sleep well. So I hope now, this meal is going to be ready by now. It's not ready. It's almost ready anyway. The only thing is you have to keep on stirring and stirring and stirring. Yeah. So we've talked a lot. We've talked. I, I think I've exhausted all my talks. Let me end it there, guys. Thank you for keeping on watching the video. I'm going to let you see when I finish cooking. What? I 
our meal should be ready by now, guys. Mm. I can smell that her smell that I was talking about when, when you know this is ready. It gives you that. I don't know how to explain it, but those who know what I mean, they can literally relate to what I mean. So um, my my meal is ready. What I need to do is put uh, put it all together by making it stick up on one side. This thing is sticking up on my plastic uh, muiko what we call muiko but what i do to be able to do is that put it in water and then it doesn't stick around as i do the shaking up of the whole thing to make it all together to put it all up together yeah that's what i do so ile muiko i shikani na ugali nikipakapanga as i arrange it you know what i mean guys yeah so I'll be taking it off the heat anytime now. And thank you so much for being here from the beginning. We have cooked ugali and I'll show you the end results basically when I take it off and put it on this plate ready for serving. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much if you've been here with me, keeping up with me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are Back to back here. We are doing business. We are not joking anymore. Why should we? No. We gotta do what we have to do. You know what I mean? Hmm? So we are here making this ugali. And I think it's ready. I always cook when I'm timing myself, guys. So I've been timing myself. And I know basically within that time, this meal should be ready. Everything I cook, I cook with time. I just don't guess work. No. I don't 10 minutes. 10 minutes later and stuff everything will be ready so i think it is ready and this is how it looks this is how it looks inside here can you see very hot huh? so we're gonna have to turn this up on this plate here ready for serving and that's how it looks guys look at that look at that look at our ugali ready to serve this is what brings up the nice smell from the ugali pot so i'm gonna leave it covered so that it can continue cooking with the heat in before i serve it anyways all done and said or all said and done <laughs> thank you guys for watching my video thank you for being here please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and go back and watch the previous videos because we are not joking we are doing business we are into business here Please subscribe, keep liking, keep commenting. Give me comments there, by the way, how I'm doing so far. Comment on anything, tell me good, you tell me bad, well, and stuff. I will appreciate any comment, guys, as long as it is giving me a positive vibe. So thank you so much for watching. Let us keep it going and come back again tomorrow and expect more from regina springs youtube channel thank you guys thank you so much have a good evening and enjoy your meals whatever you're cooking bye bye thank you